Welcome back everyone. Today I'm opening up a hobby box of the brand new 2021-2022 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. This is a product we've been waiting on since November and it's finally out today. I haven't seen any of the cards online or in any videos so uh, this is going to be my first look at them and I'm super excited to check them out in person. So let's open up the box. Here we go. 24 packs in this box and eight cards in every single pack. We've got Connor McDavid on the cover. And uh, oh, this is going to be so much fun. Let's do this. Upper Deck Series 1. We are finally opening this up. All right. So, oh no. Oh no. Upper Deck, come on, man. You made us wait so long. That is not a good sign. Uh, yeah, that corner is pretty horrible. Hopefully the, uh, the other cards are all right. But this is uh, the look at these base cards. This is a Josh Norris. And if I flip it around, this is the back of the base card. All right. This is uh, one of the vertical base cards. Uh, Ty Smith. And then uh, Jonathan Marchessault. And I think this is our first Young Guns rookie card. And it is Young Guns. It's a Ranger. And it is Zach Jones. All right. So that's not a name I recognize. I don't know. This is an interesting design. It's a little bland in my opinion, but uh, maybe they'll grow on me with time. We'll put the, uh, the young guns up here. Uh, Justin Hole, Jeff Carter, and Jeff Petrie. Let's hope for uh, some good hobby exclusive hits as well. Uh, Landis Cog, Justin Schultz, uh, John Gibson, and I think another young guns. And it is another ranger. And it is, oof, Tarmo Runanen, Young Guns. Oof. So two Ranger Young Guns, and uh, not really the uh, the best names, unfortunately. Uh, Yanni Gould, uh, Jacob Truba, Jordan Eberle, and Eunice Donskoy. I'll start skipping over the base just because there are so many of them. Uh, Carter Verhege, and what is this? Hundo P of Anders Lee. Okay, that is an interesting looking insert. I'm pretty sure these are common inserts, so uh, nothing exceptional there, but uh, still kind of a funky looking card though. All right, next up, oh, something Dylan Larkin here. And this is a electromagnetic of Dylan Larkin. All right, once again, another interesting looking insert. Uh, yeah, all right. But that's the nice thing about having so many packs is uh, things can turn around pretty fast. And this is an Igor Shesterkin, Dazzlers. All right, so this is a New York Rangers box. Pretty crazy. Getting, uh, oh, very nice Jake Allen there on the back. Hopefully there's, you know, some Montreal Canadian stuff left in the box. That would be pretty nice. Uh, Capocaco, Nick Letty, Elias Pettersson. Ooh, and oh, nice! That's a Young Guns clear cut. I thought it was just a regular one. That is a case hit, and it is of Cole Lind for the Vancouver Canucks. Now uh, a member of the Seattle Kraken, and he is a former second round pick. Uh, yeah, that is a pretty big card. That is super cool. Oh, let's go. All right, that's uh, that makes me happy. That's already a pretty good card, and it probably pays for a good chunk of this box. Uh, ooh, what is this? All right, this is 2021-2022 uh, Honor Roll Superstar, numbered 78 out of 250. A very bland looking back, but a pretty interesting looking uh, front of the card. We'll put that aside. Definitely interesting. A lot of new stuff this year. I definitely don't mind that. Very nice Josh Anderson. Just got a hat trick yesterday. Another electromagnetic, and then just some more base. Ooh, there you go. Checklist of Jason Robertson and Kirill Kaprizov. And then, oh, just base cards? Oh, no, that's a French variant right here. Variante Française. All right, that's pretty cool. Put that aside. I'm pretty sure those are one per box. If it's the same as uh, last year. Uh, Jake DeBrusque, UC Saros, Bennington, and another Young Guns. And it's Mark Micah Ellis. Another Canuck, so hitting either Vancouver Canucks or New York Rangers. All right, decent player. I remember uh, watching him play a couple games last year. All right. Let's keep on going. Ooh, another one of the honor rolls. Uh, this is a Matthew Kachuk. This one is not numbered. All right. And then just some more base. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think of this design. I think it's, you know, a little forgettable if I'm honest. Uh, but maybe that'll change with time. Another Young Guns here. And it's another Canuck. And is this Cole Lind? 
Yeah, this is the regular Cole Lind Young Guns. All right, so Young Guns number four. The clear cut at least doesn't count as one of the Young Guns, so that's pretty good. Another Young Guns here, and it is number 74. Oh no, it's not a Young Guns. What is this? Vitaly Kraftsov debut dates. Okay, interesting. And just some more base cards. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not in love with this design. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite compared to what we've seen in the past. Another Young Guns. This is oof, Joey Keen. All right. So if it weren't for the uh, Cole Lind clear cut Young Guns, this would be a pretty weak box so far. But it's still a possibility that there's a good rookie card in this box. Ooh, Kyle Connor UD Portraits. Okay, this is the uh, portrait design this year. Pretty interesting. And just some more base cards. I think I should expect one more Young Guns rookie and probably a lot more of these inserts. Semyon Varlamov. All right. DeMello, Hishir Dalin, and another Portraits of Robin Leonard. And uh, a few more base cards. I find it quite funny to, uh, you know, see I got Jason Robertson, Kirill Kaprizov, second year cards when uh, most 2021 products still have yet to be released. Uh, we still don't even have like SP Authentic and a bunch of others. Uh, what is this? Kirill Kaprizov, Rookie Retrospective. Okay, that's a pretty interesting insert. Not bad. And there you go, Jack Hughes and Alexis Lafreniere. Let's keep on going. Another Hundo P, and it's Connor McDavid. That's not bad. Connor McDavid, Hundo P. Only five packs left to go in this box. Come on, let's get a Cole Caulfield. Actually, I just noticed I haven't hit a single canvas card yet. So I'm guessing I'll be getting some soon because, uh, yeah, that's pretty wild. Uh, last Young Guns. Oh, that's Zegris! Let's go! <laughs> we did it! No way! Trevor Zegris Young Guns! Let's go, man! <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man! Wow! <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. All right, so this is going to go uh, straight up onto eBay, but uh, yeah, that is, that's ridiculous. So it's not the Cole Caulfield, but this is objectively a better card right now. And uh, this is the number one rookie in this class. So no way. That is, uh, that is absolutely crazy. All right. Well, there you go. I win. I win on release day. Uh, that is, that is so awesome. And, oh, there you go! <laughs> Young Guns Canvas! Oh, wow! Oscar Steen! I did not expect that. That is actually... Wow, that's really nice. I like the uh, the pink there. That's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to get a uh, Cole Caulfield one of those. Wow, so eight Young Guns in this box. Wow, alright. So I'm guessing, you know, three more Canvas cards. Probably just base Canvas cards. Yep. Just based on the fact that usually you get four Canvas cards in a box. So I saved them all for the end, but uh, oh, this has been an insane box. Trevor Zegris Young Guns, oh, Eric Carlson Canvas, Cole Lind Clear Cut Young Guns, uh, Oscar Steen Young Guns Canvas, and then five more regular Young Guns after that. Connor McDavid Base Card, we'll put that aside, and the last card, Jamie Ben UD Canvas and some base cards. Let's go. My luck is back, and uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope to see you all next time.